Welcome, audience, to my final review on the Heart 4-in-1 multi-tool. And, uh, you know, just, just to begin the review, uh, I'd say that this thing is quite favorable, honestly. It's pretty cool for the price. It's unbeatable. And, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So, the first things first I want to talk about is the blade. And I do really like how there's two levels of blade length. It does, it does actually stop right here. And then it also goes the rest of the way. But I appreciate that stop because I know some people might not want to have the full blade extended out uh, for fear of cutting themselves or whatever. So I think that's a really cool design right there that they put that half stop in there. I think that's awesome. Um, I really like the pocket clip. It's extremely deep carry and pretty easy to pull out of the pocket. It uh, It's not finished in any certain way. It's just It just has really good texture on it the entire tool just has a really good texture on everything um the logo all the writing on everything that has not worn off so that's pretty cool um actually this is not the one i've been using i've only been using this one for maybe a couple of days but the black one i was using for a few weeks and i ended up giving it away just because uh um <laughs> i didn't need two so that's one thing for eight dollars and 88 cents which is what i paid it's kind of a steal, and like I said, not much out there is going to beat this. Um, all right, so the ruler is very accurate, although I never really had to use it for anything. It is kind of short, but it is very accurate. I measured it with a tape measure, and it ended up being really good. Bottle opener works well. Uh, almost all bottle openers work well, so it's kind of hard to get that one wrong. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a cool, very, very slim, very lightweight tool. Uh, some things I didn't like about it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with this hex driver. Um, I don't really think it's necessary. And since there's no um, rear side to one of these plates here, um, you're going to have to push the driver in with your, you know, the back of your finger to whatever you're going to be uh, screwing in or screwing out. So uh, that that's kind of, I mean, it's cool that it's there, you know, it even could be used as a lanyard, which I didn't think about before, but that's a good idea. But anyway, um, yeah, anytime that there's no, there's any tool with a little driver like that, and there's no wall behind there, that's the first thing I think of. I'm just going to be pressing my thumb into that bit there. But, um, you know, like I said, I haven't really used it, but that's, uh, that's always a thing in the back of my mind. Uh, something else is, um, the fact that there is only metal underneath the blade, the edge of the blade. There is only metal underneath. So just down here, when the blade slides in and out, it is going to be rubbing on that metal and it's going to be dulling the blade. Yes, it does dull the blade. Even though the blade is thin enough to, I mean, continue cutting through cardboard and tape or what or binding or whatever, um, and it, it will be honing itself on that cardboard, it's still going to get dull, and that is not a very good design feature. Um, what I wanted to do was kind of throw some Teflon or something in there uh, underneath, but I haven't been able to do that yet just because of time and uh, other priorities, but... That's honestly the only thing I can knock on this tool. Uh, one other, another minor detail is that there's jimping down here. And I, at first I thought it's kind of odd that it's down there, you know, when I would prefer it up here. But I actually like the fact that it's down there because it, I guess it can remind you that that blade is right there since there's nothing stopping your finger from moving towards that blade. So that's pretty cool. Um... Still would be cool to have jimping right there. But I mean, it's an $8 tool. What can you expect? I think this thing's really cool. And uh, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. So, yeah, that's the Heart 4-in-1 tool. Um, EDC champion. Uh, e EDC middleweight, <laughs> let's call it that. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really, you know, for what it is, it's very inexpensive. And it'll get the job done for sure. Cutting, if that's uh, what the job is. All right, thanks for watching.